Hey hey, and welcome to Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. This game was developed by Level 5 and published by Namco Bandai. I like to start off this thoughts video by saying, Holy fuck, this game is gorgeous. Just look at it. It has amazing visuals, and to top it all off, it has animations by Studio Ghibli. I am a huge fanboy of Studio Ghibli and all of Hayao Miyazaki's work. And playing this game is like playing a Miyazaki film. Now, I don't believe Miyazaki himself had anything to do with this game, but still, it looks amazing. Second off, I'd like to say, the music in this game is fucking amazing! The music was composed by Joe Hisaishi and performed by the Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra. I can't believe the talent that they got to contribute to this game. Okay, okay, okay. After all the gushing, let's get down to the actual game and not just the aesthetics of it. You begin the game with a little exploring and some animations to accent the game itself. When the animations trigger, there were times when I had a hard time differentiating between the in-game graphics and the animations itself. I can't state this enough, I think this game looks amazing. So when you get into the game, the story opens on a very sad note. It doesn't wait too long to slap you in the face and get you completely sucked into the story and the characters. Then, it slaps a smile on your face when a chubby little lamp nose wearing sassy ass named Mr. Drippy comes and starts telling you not to be a baby days after your mom died. Sorry for the spoiler, but it happens in like the first 10 minutes of the game. Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on once more, but louder. I won't do it. I, I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. It's been a long time since I've played a Japanese RPG that was so story driven that I thought was actually a good game. The game itself is thought out, if not a little childish. It gives you stars and notifications on the map where on where to go when you stand there for too long. It's a game that's kind of holding your hand. But I'm okay with that. I end up ignoring all the stars and notifications to just explore the area. The game has areas that every time I walked into a new one, I said, Oh, this area is my favorite. Oh, this new area. Oh, it's my favorite. So now, the battle system is similar in style to Tales of Symphonia. You have control of your character in a set battle area, and it takes time to cast things, like most RPGs. When you first start battling in the game, you're pretty much just abusing small animals with a stick. After a little bit, you get one of these little monsters of your own called a familiar. Much like Pokemon, you battle the other little creatures to gain experience and money. I feel the battle system is nothing new, but it feels comfortable and suits the game very well. It's just another complimentary asset to the game. I'm not sure how I keep doing this, but I never really saw anything on this game, so I came into it blind. So when I started playing it, I was curious as to how long of an undertaking this game actually is. The game is actually 70 plus hours. Holy shit. I understand that having content in a game is good, but I can't remember the last time I saw a game that was longer than 16 hours. My favorite video game of all time, Final Fantasy IX, has an average playtime of 30 hours. That being said, I'm okay with Nino Kuni being 70 plus hours. I'm completely okay with spending that much time in this world. It's a world that is completely engrossing. I found myself saying, oh, just a little bit longer before I stop for the night. Oh, I'll just beat this dungeon. Ah, I'll just beat this boss first. Oh, I'll just get to the new town, then I'll stop. This game is hard for me to put down. It's one of those games that when I wake up in the morning, I'm delighted to see it. And there it is, smiling back at me with its glorious Japanese glowing glow. And in short, I'm in love with this game. When I finish this game, I'm sure it'll become one of those games that I never want to play again. Not because of its length, but because I don't want to taint the experience by starting it over. This is one of those games that I started playing and have been really excited to keep playing. That doesn't happen very often. Only really special games merit me giving them a thoughts video. 
Also, games that are way too long to do a Let's Play of. It's just easier to make a thoughts video on it instead of playing countless hours with commentary. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I highly suggest that you go get a copy of Nino Kuni. Now. Go. Go now. I'll wait here. Then we can both scream like little otaku schoolgirls about how amazing this game is. Thank you very much for watching my latest thoughts video. I'm looking forward to making more of these. I really enjoyed doing videos in this format. I've been playing quite a few video games as of late, and I've planned at least two other thoughts videos in the future, so stay tuned, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. Then we can both scream like little otaku school <laughs> Not because of <laughs> Look at it! It has amazing visuals. Visuals. Story and the characters. Then it slaps some <laughs> I'd like to start off this thoughts video by saying.